Now to Lewiston, Maine, where police officials are now looking at the why behind the alleged mass shooter Robert Card after he was found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the latest from Lisbon. Tonight, with the manhunt now over, authorities shifting the focus of their investigation into the motive behind the deadly mass shooting in Lewiston, Maine. It comes after authorities announced late Friday they found the body of 40-year-old Robert Card dead from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Robert Card is no longer a threat to anyone. Police say his body was found near the Androscoggin River in Lisbon Friday night by a recycling center where he used to work. Authorities say they had cleared that location twice. Across the street, there's an overflow parking lot, which is the Recycling Corporation property. So the owner was very diligent to say, well, did you clear those trailers? Investigators say they found a note describing it as a letter to family. I wouldn't uh, describe it as a explicit suicide note. But the tone and tenor was that uh, the individual was not going to be around. The suspect had been at large for more than 48 hours after allegedly going on a shooting rampage at a bowling alley and a bar, killing 18 people and wounding 14 others. We're now learning more about the victims. The youngest, Aaron Young, just 14 years old, killed along with his father, Bill, at the bowling alley. Aaron loved to bowl and it was something they did fairly regularly and just happened to be that night. Arthur Strout, a father of five, also died in that shooting. His own father was with him at the restaurant, but left 10 minutes before the gunman walked in and opened fire. I'm there with my son, playing a couple games of pool, just laughing, and in that 10 minutes, he's just gone. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Lisbon, Maine.